Well, it is Friday. Yes, yes it is. Finally. I don't know if it's been that long a week for you guys, but... Well... It's been... We've had truck all week, of course. Then we had ball games every day, practice, and then uh, little boy started uh, t-ball last night. So it's fun after a long day having to sit at the park to 7.30 at night. Yep. So, right. But nothing tonight. So there you go. Michael has to smoke a few butts for uh, his, we pretty much claim as our own, uh, his little niece. So yeah, all that stuff. Yep. Fun fun. And it's gonna rain all weekend. Yeah. Ain't that gonna be amazing? It'll be all right, you yeah. know. And I thought we started to build an ark as much rain as we've been getting. You ain't telling me. So I, this is like off tool truck topic. We have a customer who is an older gentleman. He's like 70 to 80. Um, don't look it by no means, but he home grows everything. Like yeah. he does not go to the store at all from meat to mm -hmm. vegetables to everything. So he asked us about two or three weeks back he said hey y'all want some tomato plants now he has like i call them the original seeds because he keeps them from like generations and right. generations well he gives us about 20 of them and i'm like well, i don't want them to die and i love tomatoes and my one of my kids loves them but the other two don't so i'm like okay i'm gonna dig me you know just a little strip and plant them right apparently when you do that you don't do it in like the flood zone because oh, yeah. I went out there the other day whenever you said, you know, we were having to build us an ark. They were floating. <laughs> so I had to build like some trenches down through there. And I don't know if you know it or not. So Mako uh, back, I think last year, did like a Mother's Day thing with like the pink handle. Yeah, yeah. Like, I little, remember that. The garden that little, that little shovel works great, especially when it's pouring down rain. You're having to like get some <laughs> water out of some tomato plants. So... Yeah. It works. Oh, it's not pink no more. It's red because I have red clay. So I don't know how well these are going to work because I had like put two big old bags of like black. Um, Cotton soil. Yes. Yeah. I ain't got no more. I mean, it, they're just sitting bright and pretty and red right now. So, but anyways. Wow. Yeah, I know. That's just, I'm so tired of rain. <sighs> Sick of it. Yeah. Well, we're almost out of it kind of. Florida. It'll be a probably a completely dry summer because it always happens when we get that much rain in the spring. It's like everything turns to concrete in June. So. Yes. Well, I don't care if it's hot as long as my air works here yep. and everybody in here is not just, you know, burning <laughs> alive. I told them yesterday because I get hot really easy and I told them, I said, look, I said, if I freeze you out, let me know and I'll cut it off. I said, right. it's fine. I said, I, I can cut my fan on. I'm, I'm good. And they're like, no, no, we're good. And I had one guy back home. I'm just, I'm just a little cold. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I said, you just, you gotta tell me that, and I'll cut it off. So, uh, but anyway, so well, the wind's blowing. You can tell it. So we have these. I don't know if you've seen these or not. They're triple squares. Okay. So they're universal. I don't. Did I show those last week or no? No. Okay. I try to make sure the days run together. So fun part number that you can actually read. S A U Q S M A. Okay. I don't know why there's a Q, but there's a Q. So fun stuff. Yeah. And so my guess is I don't know a lot about triple squares. I know that they're coming more common. Mm -hmm. Volkswagen, BMW is what we've been told. Or I'm not. Right. I've been told by technicians like, oh, well, these would come in handy. So I like the fact they're on a universal. Mm -hmm. Like they they literally go all the way around. So, yep. And I know the people that have our sockets like that, and the little adapters that they absolutely love them. And they're like, well, you know, these right here would come in handy, especially because apparently they eat tight spots. Right. So, of course, y'all know engineers don't ever make anything no. easy to get to. You got to take fifty things apart to get to one and it's terrible exactly so as long as people keep coming out with stuff like this to make y'all's life easier mm -hmm. we'll make sure to carry it <laughs> that's what i say anyways so did y'all get a trade-in for the 3.0 or y'all yeah so a new model so you know our five our 5.0 is out now right you have the car line the hd and 
there's so many more scanners. Like I had a ride along with my district manager Wednesday and Thursday. So I was yesterday. And we have a guy who was actually looking into getting that one. Well, my backup thing. Yes, that is a trade in. We had a guy want a 50 car line and HD. So we took his 3 0 on trade for his new scanner. Who's absolutely loving it. So that's great. But if, back to that one. So there is like five or six different styles you can get. So if you want just basic clear codes, nothing else, you know, see what it is. This little guy is your best friend. Okay. And on our truck, he's around 99. Okay. But that's our truck. So right. keep that in mind. Everybody else is, you know, it's different. But I like him because like, let's say your wife has a, or your kid has a check engine light. Mm -hmm. Pop one of these in their console and then like, okay, hey, it's doing it again. All you gotta do is plug this little fella in. Right. Unless you have like a very old vehicle, mm -hmm. right? Because like way back when they didn't have that port. I guess that's back, what year was that? Probably like 93. Okay, so if you have like a classic, classic car, not like a new classic, but like an old classic. <laughs> Look, that depends on how young you are. Exactly. Because I've still got my 93 Camaro in there. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. That's like... And uh, I don't call it a classic car. You don't call it? No. Well, I mean, technically it's an antique now. To me, classic car is 60s, 70s. Yeah. But say you're a spring chicken still, so 93 is an old car well, to you. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I love whenever we set up, uh, we sponsor a car show every now and then. So we just pull our truck there and then we get to walk around mm -hmm. and look at everything, which is pretty neat. So they have like these Volkswagen vans. Like I'm talking yep. about the OG yeah. Volkswagen van, like not Scooby-Doo mm -hmm. van, but like the rounded. Yeah. Yeah. I want one of those. You, those yeah. things are ridiculously expensive. Too. Yes. But did you see that now Volkswagen is coming out with a new van? It's EV, of course, but it's supposed to be like a remake, kind of like they did the Bronco and brought so it back. So it's for the new age hippies. Yeah. Well, yeah. not me. I want the old one back. They need to put a solar panel on the top of that thing. That'd be pretty. Like, you know, they have like a little spoiler up there that has yeah. the solar panel. Yeah, that'd be pretty neat. Because it's funny. Like, I see pictures out in California where they have these charging stations out in the desert. It's run by a big diesel generator. <laughs> it's like, really? God, yeah. Guys. But now That's they want to make it, uh, you know, all their vehicles have got to be electric by whatever year it is, you know, and they can't even support the people that's got electric vehicles yeah. now well see that's my thing is it an electric it and that's that's not solar that's solar power is completely different than electric right well it's just recharging well, how you sun. recharge yeah. it yes but i know some teslas have like a solar panel up top but that's like a huge upgrade and it takes forever for them to charge or something other i don't I think there's enough square it. footage on a car to to make it work well i mean they said you'd have to have a field to run your house yeah. So I don't know how you would, you know, because your house, when you're not there, your lights are off. Your refrigerator, if it's an energy saver, shouldn't be running. I say, I say they stuff. just need to keep pumping them dead dinosaurs out of the ground and squirting them in your tank, not worrying about it. That works too. Cause, yeah, uh, I don't, I don't see us riding around with solar panels on our thing or plugging up. Take a little bit too long. I'm not yeah. into that. I'm good. <laughs> but apparently some trucks do come with solar panels. Yeah. So I mean, I mean, just whatever your preference is. But back on the scanner back thing. Back on the scanner. <laughs> so this is our baby scanner. Yeah. I think I got it on it. Um, so if your daughter, I mean like your wife, mm -hmm. for example, throw one in her glove box. And if she decides that she wants, you know, she has a check engine light on her brand new vehicle, pop it in, see what it is, clear it if she can. And then if you want to go a step up, I think the next one is the CR Pro. Pro. I might have one of those in here or not, but I have it shoved back here somewhere. But anyways, I'll dig it out in a minute. But it is the next one up. So you can see, you're not live data, right? Or can you see live data from the CR Pro? Yes, you can. You can, so. you can see data list. Um, so basically they, uh, the 
this one gives you basic information what the code is but doesn't really give you much as of the data to, to diagnose the code the next one up will give you um, the live data to help you diagnose it um, and then when you start going up from there you start getting to where you can do active test um, controlling solenoids and stuff like that so I'm trying to see if I can pull up a quick uh, what there is yeah so you have the code advisor that she's showing here and then you have the CR Pro which is the next um, they're considered code readers because you're not going to be doing a whole mm -hmm. lot of uh, active test or anything um, but you can on this one here you can look at your live data um, the good thing about this one here I recommend it to anybody that's just getting started in the automotive world um, because that that live data is basically okay I see the code but why is the code on right. um, and it allows you to uh, actually have free updates on this one and that's a big one um, when you go to stepping into the bigger scanners you start having to pay for them updates to be able to do those active tests and stuff like that mm -hmm. now of course um, this is becoming more and more irrelevant um, back in 2000 if it did, I only went back to 96 we'd be like oh crap what what are we going to do right but now obd one's almost a thing of the past right i say almost because i still have some people who need mm -hmm. the obd one but that's really becoming a thing of the past but uh and then when we go back uh, we can get in to more of the scan tools as they call it um that's where we can go into the MV max plus that's a pay as you go um, mm -hmm. kind of deal there. Then we can step into the MD Flex Full. Um, that's not right. I can go ahead and tell you that's not right. I don't know why that's a zero, but that's the incorrect. And then that, after that, that's when we step into the car line, and then you can go car line HD or you can go just HD. Right. So I'm not trying to step on anybody's toes and just hop in here and start talking. I was just trying to show a little demonstration man whenever somebody asks about diag or diagnostics and all that stuff i holler at him yeah. <laughs> i know baseline and then i can look it up on there but if you need to know like more in depth that's your guy there you go he can run them in and out back and forth i mean it's, it's pretty nice. she's she knows a lot more than most i'll say that <laughs> Well, cool deal. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya. <laughs>